easily go on the top of the engine and there's no spark plug and there's no carburetor and the exhaust comes out and back back into the tank. So we've got a situation now, we've created history. Uh, 1974 we originally did this and now we're doing it again to show you there's a bit of a uh, restrictions back those days of uh, the oil companies and people didn't like the fact that we had an engine to run on air. But now everybody wants a third of energy and there it is, an engine running on nothing but compressed air which will uh, run an alternator to charge the batteries to run an inverter to run electricity for your house or your building or your small village. So uh, there it is. Uh, you can see it. It's perfectly smooth running, not non-stop, on nothing but compressed air. There's the tank. There's going back into the tank, going into the top. And there's no carburetor, no spark plug, running no stop, non-stop, free power, free energy, no exhaust fumes, no pollution, no carburetor, no fuel, no oil, except for the little bit of oil in the sub, of course, for the engine. Uh, that's an original Briggs & Stratton motor. Uh, many people have seen throughout the world. And uh, that can run, all that has to do is to run an alternator, which we've got on the bench here. That alternator we're going to connect up via a fan belt. Fan belt will run off uh, the engine out here. The fan belt will run off there and uh, run the alternator to recharge the battery on your uh, power unit, and which will run at up to 16,000 kVA. Uh, 16,000 watt, sorry, not kVA. 16,000 watt inverter, uh, non-stop free power for households, buildings third world countries, villages, emergency backup power, anything you like. No illusions. Absolutely real. Every angle, non-stop, working perfectly. Running on nothing but fresh compressed air.